Hey y'all. So, looks like it's about to start storming soon. Apparently, we have another hurricane headed, well, not our way, but I guess close by us, or, you know, in our direction. So, I just got a call that actually our school is getting out tomorrow on a three-hour delay, I mean, three-hour early release, and then Friday, she has a um, two-hour delay. So, apparently, it's about to affect us, um, so round two, apparently. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be as bad as, um, you know, they were calling for last time, but who knows. Um, I just honestly have been so busy lately, I haven't even had a chance to keep up with it. Um, this week has just been crazy, but I just wanted to tell y'all about, well, and real quick, um, Ari has a soccer game today at 5.30, which I'm hoping, honestly, I'm kind of hoping that it gets canceled just because I am tired and Ari hasn't been feeling the best. She's been complaining about her throat hurting, so I don't know if it's just allergies or I hope she's not getting sick, but anyways, um... I'll have to keep an eye out and see how she feels, you know, and if she doesn't start feeling better, we'll have to take her to the doctor, but, okay, so yesterday, this week has been crazy, just super stressful and busy both days, um, and yesterday when I got off work, <sighs> this might be TMI, but right when I get off work, finally after a long stressful day, I go into the bathroom to pee. And what crawls right by my foot, excuse me, like out of nowhere, a freaking huge roach. Right, I guess like a water bug that from outside, that came in from outside. And I'm thinking because we have two dogs, you know, we're in and out and maybe it got in that way. But because we do not have roaches. Um, but, oh, when I tell you that I freaked the heck out, like... It went, it crawled right by my foot, like just came out of nowhere, it just crawled right by my foot. I almost died and I could not relax until Joseph got home. It crawled under the washing machine, so I had to wait. I literally stood there in the, in the um, doorway for probably 30 minutes um, until Joseph got home, well maybe like, mm, 20. But I could not relax, I mean, until I knew that that thing was killed and that I saw that it was killed, you know, I, I was just like, and this is just brings me to my point of like what I was thinking and just a random thought of like how um, the enemy tries to use fear with, with you, like, because fear does not come from God, so, you know, everything either comes from God or Satan, it's either good or evil. Before, I used to think people were crazy that said that, like, oh, you know, people want to put everything, you know, and they want to make everything, you know, I used to think people like me before were crazy, but that was before I understood the whole, how everything works, you know, but, um, you know, it, it is like God brings peace, God brings joy, he brings, you know, just contentment, um, and the, the devil tries to put fear in you, uh, and this is just an example, it's, you know, a small one, but we've, the roach yesterday, between that and then the stress of just it all, like, I, my chest yesterday was so tight, I was so stressed, and I'm like, and then lately we've been having spiders, like, we had a, we've had a problem with these little spiders the little jumping spiders and it's so annoying because it seems like every time we turn around there's a freaking spider in the house and then I was thinking you know when I was in the urgent care the other day when I was in urgent care the other day um he was trying to scare me he you know be an enemy by making me just every little thing, you know, like I was in the ER, I mean not ER, but it was like a, basically like an ER, it's like a little mini ER, but for my back, and they were like, is there any way you could be pregnant? I'm like, no, you know, and 
um, she's like, what do you want to just double check before they gave me, they gave me like a shot of some anti-inflammatory for my back. I don't even know what the name of it was, but, um, so they checked to see, you know, my urine to see if, to make sure I was not pregnant. Even though I knew I was not pregnant, I sat there, they had me sitting in that waiting room for probably, felt like an hour, probably was only like 30 minutes, but either way, I, then I heard the doctor say something about, in the hallway, a different doctor, but say something about canceling um, some medication, and of course, instantly, that, you know, makes me think that it's me. And I'm sitting there like my heart is beating out of my chest, pounding, and I'm just thinking the worst, you know, like paranoid. I even called Joseph, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I, you know. And then, you know, they came back in, they're like, mm, nope, you're not pregnant. And it just had me thinking like, you know, your mind can get, can run away with you if you let it. Just over, and it was like unnecessary, like I, sh I had no reason to even, you know, fear or stress or be worried and like, just, it's just one of those things, you know, it's like now I'm like turning around in the house every, you know, tur like freaking out, having, you know, panic attacks over like what happened yesterday. And then with the spiders and stuff, I just don't do well with like critters. I just don't, especially a freaking roach. Like, no. So, and this thing was huge. So, um, anyways, I have an exterminator coming out Monday, so I'm happy about that. But, yeah, so, I basically got attached by, attacked by a freaking roach yesterday, and it was just not fun. So, that's my little story time for the day, but anyways, um, apparently we're supposed to get a storm coming our way, so we'll see. Now, actually, the sun's coming back out, so... I don't know. We'll see. But, um...